Hey everyone, Dev here, and welcome to Trackcraft Overview. We've had a similar game of that kind before, however, I clearly remember that the studio that released it shut down pretty much after it, so there isn't necessarily a good track record in this genre. Although from what I've tried, this seems to be a good follow-up and I think enthusiasts of minicar racing stuff will be satisfied. So Trackcraft is a mixed reality car racing game where relying on your own creativity or the community one, spread your wings and fly through a bunch of racetracks, build, create and test all your creations. Before trying it out, I clearly remembered what this game was about since the dev team has been spamming the Oculus Quest Reddit subpage posting about their creation pretty much every couple of days. Now I have to say that the premise definitely holds up because the project itself is really fun even though it's set in MR mode which nowadays can go either way but they do a smart thing and adjust the concept and the gameplay around the player's environment essentially turning it into a one big racetrack. There's a lot of creative freedom, you can also use the community maps and some pre-made stages depending on the vehicle's usage, different cockpit perspectives, physics in a, some kind of way. It really might look simple, but deep down there's a lot going on and possibilities are essentially endless. It was definitely quite surprising to find out that such game could be that deep. And even though the art style and the visual aspect might be leaning on the simple side of things, it doesn't take away anything from the gameplay and the devs made sure that the most important thing is fan factor, which a lot of dev teams could learn from that mentality. <laughs> Let's go on a race. Welcome to the game of Trackcraft. Prepare your fingers because you're going to need them to navigate through news. I mean, it would be nice if the game would work from the start. So is this a hand tracking game? I think I didn't read. <laughs> driving toy cars doesn't mean you don't need a driving license for it. Let's start your training. Push the driving school icon whenever you're ready. So it's a full MR game. <laughs> God damn it. I'll get exposed on the new setup and stuff. <laughs> Before we jump into driving, grab the start using both hands while pressing the grip buttons. This way, you can move the track around your play space and also change its size. Try it! Okay, safety first! Hit the throttle way down to the ground. It's on your right trigger! Well, that's I'm gonna be able to do a proper MR content here. <laughs> track button brake is on your left trigger but who needs brakes let's hit that smiley full speed I actually start to dig it from the tutorial standpoint even no <laughs> What the hell is it? Cause my boundary is not there, so... Is there like an infinite world going on? Ah, that would be so cool. Oh, there is virtual reality. As much as I would prefer that to be my main medium, I'll try to do more 
mixed one. Now that I have a new setup. This screen is blocking me. <laughs> oh my god. Use your joystick to steer and please don't fall off the road. I think I forgot to pay my insurance. I wonder if I'll be able to go into the cockpit. A teleport. What could go wrong? You can restart with the B button in case things don't go as planned. What the? <laughs> okay. On each track, you can collect up to three stars. Stars unlock new cars and track packs. You can also collect points in progress to better leagues. I think there was recently or some time ago, a function for the developers to completely turn off boundary. Like with no limits, so maybe that's what happened there? Jesus. <laughs> How do I fail this? Want to enjoy different views? Use the left menu button to toggle between cameras. But beware. The sense of speed and crashing is on a different level down there. Oh. I mean, there is no MR in this mode since that would be just next level. <laughs> like it would have to view my space or scan it. I think that's the future of MR, honestly. Just full on switching perspectives. So we have four. I can't grab it, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Do a front flip, hold throttle, and hit the jump. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't forget, behind every turn, there is more turns. Switch to VR or back to MR using the button in the upper right corner. I love how this is just straight to the point and then go. There's no bullshit in front. A backflip is a little bit more tricky. After hitting the jump, press brake. Do I have a brake? What the hell? Where's my car? I don't know if I understand this. You can drive horizontally, vertically, or even upside down.
I mean. <laughs> Wait, what the hell just happened here? Okay. You can also spin to the sides. Try to steer left on that jump. Oh, I love the L. <laughs> No. It would be so cool if I could grab it. On some tracks you have to pick up collectibles to finish. Look, there's one. Go get it and then use your left trigger to reverse. Continue exploring the next track pack that you've just unlocked. Or you can try to create your own track in the editor, play multiplayer, or check out the community tracks built by other players. Adventure awaits! So does every vehicle has its own kind of set amount of stages? Razzle Dazzle. Yeah, so it's kind of like specific to the brand. Woo! The fun never ends with community tracks. Come back here every day to find new levels created by the players or share yours and compete for the track of the week. Oh. Switch between your unlocked cars with Y. You can also grab them and place anywhere to train difficult parts of longer tracks. Oh, and don't forget, always do the same mistake twice, just to make sure. So wait, so I can pick it up? Okay, well. I wish it to be full on racing simulator though. I might expect it too much from it. Let's see maybe something else. There's a lot of stuff going on considering I've seen this game being on Apple and then the developer was spamming his posts on Reddit. And there is a similar game of this kind though I think the studio closed soon after it's released so <laughs> I'll probably play a bit more of the campaign. <laughs> but being in the first person mode is definitely intense here. But that's so fun, that's possible. And cheating.
the size adjustments is really smart because depending on the size of your room you can make a show however you want I'll catch you yeah maybe it doesn't connect all the time upside down I mean I get it I'll see maybe building and stuff welcome to the place where the only limit is your imagination let's create your first track start by twisting your secondary hand to open the palette so far so good now select the build tool and spawn a base piece using your finger What does that mean? <laughs> Good choice! Now grab the piece and place it using the grip button. It's the one on the side of the controller. Okay, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now place a couple more. If you make a mistake, you can always delete stuff by choosing the delete tool in the palette. This definitely has a lot more possibilities in comparison to the other one. I don't know if anyone remembers at this point. Not looking bad for a rookie. But let's add a bit of style. Choose a prop from the palette and place it. These are grabbed with the trigger button. Try it! This is like a disaster. <laughs> Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> oh, something's blocking here. Maybe that's what this room scan was. So close. At the end of the day, I get what's going on. I think it's great how it is, especially that there was only one similar release to this, but with much less freedom and compatibility. MR works amazingly, like that might be the first time I see boundary less environment and I feel like every single developer should consider it because it really changes the game. Considering the project, there are some cool things going on, especially that you can switch your perspective of driving. It's not as interactable, which I'm not totally surprised, like, it might have been a little bit too complex and the execution would not be probably similar as now. Easy to understand, lots of mechanics with crafting your own tracks, multiplayers, social, like, for people who enjoy miniaturized vehicle tracks, like, this is a perfect application, especially that anyone can get into and there's no skill floor to achieve in order to enjoy the experience.